All right, gonna make a beat from scratch using nothing but the keyboard. Going to make sure it's not quantized. Very West Coast style beat. Let's drop that in here. Find the samples. Nice kick. Snare now. That one. And then a hat. Uh, there we go. That'll work. So A is the kick, W is snare, hi hat is S. Gonna switch up the envelope real quick so it doesn't decay. Much better. So quantize is off. Oh. And then 90 BPM with the count in one bar. The loop is on. And then we arm to record. Good. So that's just using the keyboard, no MIDI controller. Then we're going to add in a hi-hat. I don't mess that up. Undo. Command Z. Try it again. <clears throat> Pretty good, pretty good. As you can see, nothing is on the grid. Still very basic. So we're gonna do Command J to clean it up. There we go. And then I like to layer over with another hat or percussion. Ah, let's find a snare. That'll work. I'm going to take that, drop it in there. So that's going to be on E on the keyboard. I'm going to adjust the start point, take it down a little, and then we're going to layer that with the other snare. And play that in. Drop the volume a little to get the mix right. Just fills it out a lot better. Has more body. And then we can find one more percussion. That might work. Drop that in here. See here, I'm gonna kind of take that back a little, take the release down a little bit, turn the loop off. There we go. Again, with all the quantize off. There we go.
So again, nothing is on the grid. Very free flowing. And again, all with the keyboard, no MIDI controller. And to keep things clean, always do Command J. And that'll just capture whatever's between one and three. That way you don't have an extended MIDI clip. And there we go. That's the basics of starting a beat in about five minutes on Ableton with no quantize, very West Coast style. All right, catch you on the next one.